my name is Jan Marino. The name of this show is Take the Lead with Jan Marino and today I'm really happy to have Howard Tallman as my guest today. And Howard is the CEO of 1871 which is a technology how do I explain that? We call it a digital uh, incubator for there startups. You there you go. Thank you so much. Sure. And um, I've done a lot of reading. I, I think you've noticed that I've retweeted a lot of stuff because I've been doing a lot of, of research about you. And um, so there were some questions that had come up that I, I wanted to kind of get your take sure. on based on um, all of the things that you've done. First of all, uh, people, I think, wonder, how do you stay creative? How do you stay, you know, in front of all this stuff that's happening? Well, I've been lucky to do something different about every five or six years. <clears throat> so that gives you a chance to sort of refresh and take on different challenges, whether it's the last ten years have been mostly education before 1871. So. That was uh, starting with Kendall College, which was really transforming right. something that was 75 years old and failing. And then we ended up that decade with Tribeca Flashpoint, which was starting a brand new two-year digital high-end vocational college for uh, film and broadcast and things like that. So in that 10 years, I mean, uh, we tried to re-envision education, which, you know, if there's two areas in this country that desperately need help with technology and change, it would be education and healthcare. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, um, when you talk about healthcare, what do you see as a trend? What, what do you see coming down the road? So, the good news is I don't talk about healthcare because that's exclusively the preserve of my brother. Okay. So I try to stay away from anything that has flesh attached to it, other than people. I mean, I'm willing to deal with people. So he does medicine <laughs> and health IT and all of those areas, okay. and, and I don't. Okay. So I do education, media, technology, you know, large data, you know, computer game development, all those kinds of things. Okay. And film. All right. And music. Okay. Great. 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 Um, have you heard Leonard Cohen's new? Uh, I haven't heard his new CD, but I, I know him. I mean, I know that he's uh, oh. severely talented and he's equally... He's severely talented is equally, a great right, way to put it. Equally depressed uh, fellow. He is. Yes, he is. You know, and it's, it's... I wish... Well, I don't know what he's taking, but if he would share it with the rest of us, don't you think that... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't think he's a happy person, but he's, he's, a, very, a, he's a very... Very talented, talented person. person. Very yeah. talented person. Yeah. Um, I, all right, I have... Um, one question that I've been thinking about, I was up all night, and I know that sounds insane, but I was. Okay. So, I was thinking about, if you could give advice to three people, okay, so the first piece would be to a, a boy who's graduating from high school. What piece of advice would you give him? Well, I would say that uh, he should go to college. Okay. That's first. Uh, and then I think he should go to work for someone who he can learn from. That would be my advice to okay. a boy graduating from college. Okay. What about a girl who's graduating from high school? Well, I, th I think it's the same advice. I don't, we don't, you know, differentiate. Mm -hmm. I think um, one of the interesting things is we've been recently doing projects with young women in junior high and high school around STEM, science and technology right, 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 and art. Right, right. And, uh, you know, we're seeing, if anything, more opportunities and more interest. And it's, you know, it's about time because it's been pretty stagnant for the last decade or so. Right. In terms of women moving into technology jobs. I think in the exact same way that technology is less expensive and more accessible, it's, that's the case for men and women. And so yeah. it's pretty encouraging. We just did a project with Commonwealth Edison uh, and a bunch of their engineers were uh, some seventh grade women built these uh, electric cars out of refrigerators and we had a big icebox derby and built a track at the field museum and uh, the president of ComEd, who's a terrific woman, uh, <clears throat> got very excited about this and said mm -hmm. you know, she was really looking forward to doing more things around innovation 
and around sort of entrepreneurs and things. Yeah, so. that's that's great. I know my niece, um, when she was in the sixth grade, a teacher took her aside and said, you have what it takes to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. And so she took that seriously and she's now an engineer. Oh, that's great. So it, it is great, you know, it is great. Um, and then the last question for you would be, um, what would your advice be to someone who is in their 60s, thinks that they're going to retire, and then figures out, you know what, I don't want to retire. What advice would you give them? You know, we, uh, I mean, first of all, I, I would say, uh, you know, that first I would be more concerned about somebody in their 40s who thought they were going to change their career. They definitely mm -hmm. need some technology help and support and to understand yeah. this new world. I think somebody in their 60s, you know, there are so many opportunities to keep learning. Um, we have some friends who have developed an online culinary program. Right. Uh, 60 is a very rich age these days in the sense that, um, you know, these are affluent people, they have a lot of spare time, They're, they tend to be educated. And uh, they want to do something new, whether it's you know learn to be a pastry chef or uh, take up you know art or some of these things. Right. So, um, <clears throat> and a lot of them are are giving back. We have about a thousand mentors at 1871, and they come and they work with these companies. And I think they think it keeps them young. And it certainly keeps them thinking about new approaches and new ways to do things. Yeah, that's great. And I I see where the millennials and baby boomers. I think have a lot to give to each other. Do you find that to be true? Yeah, yeah. I would, I would say that the, um, you know, more and more the older generations understand how easy some of these inexpensive technologies have made the things that used to cost us a lot of time and a lot of money to do. Mm -hmm. But the younger generation, having grown up in it, doesn't really appreciate that. They yeah. just sort of, they're like fish in water, you know. Yeah. They've never known anything different, so they think it's a given, but we think of it as a real set of opportunities. It used to be very expensive to reach people and measure how you were communicating with them and do all these kinds of things, and now it's trivial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much easier. So, one last question. Sure. Okay, one last question. Um, in your, because you and I are about the same age, and I was thinking the other day, in my lifetime... You're much younger than I am. I'm really not. <laughs> Okay. I'm not. Okay. However, comma. See, you can't compliment her. Uh, <laughs> you know, she's dry. What can I say? Okay. Much, much younger. Okay. No, I'm right. just kidding. So let me ask you. You know, in my lifetime, I'm thinking there's there's been some really wonderful things that have been invented and have come out there. In your, you know, what do you, for you? What is that one thing that's just like, wow? It's like an aha. You know what I mean? Well, I, th I think the, you know, we don't call them phones anymore. I would say we call them mobile trackers. But I think the idea that we're all mobile and connected to a whole world of information. You yeah. Know, we, we think, we don't let people say, I don't know anymore right. at 1871 because it, it means you're lazy. It doesn't mean you don't know. It means you didn't take the time to go look and find uh, whatever it is. And everything is there. Everything yeah. can be found and looked up and researched. And so... Just the idea that you have to be and you can be a lifelong learner right. and keep improving your skills and pursuing other areas is really the most exciting thing. It's just all the information is out there now. Great. Great. Well, listen, we really appreciate you. you coming and spending time with us. And I, everyone knows that they can get a hold of you via 1871. Sure. Your, sure. um, and I, I know you're not going to get this out here. It's just my initial. It's not that complicated. <laughs> just H. H at 1871. That's how it, that's how it works. But thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you so Good. much. I'm glad we to really, be here. We really appreciate Good. it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.